friends and welcome back to another fossil hunting episode so as you noticed i am in my balcony and today it's going to be a very different episode because it's raining a lot and i'm not going out today and if you noticed the last weeks uh, i didn't post any video uh, and the reason it's simple i suffered an injury in my foot uh, i ruptured some ligaments and now i'm recovering so i'm pretty healed now but just to make sure today i'm going to spend it at home but i'm going to show you um one of my fossil hunting trips in the quest for the ammonite i've not i'm not sure if you are going to like it because i don't have much to show but well let's see if you like it so my friends and welcome back to another fossil hunting episode well today I'm in a brand new area I don't know where this path goes so let's hope in the end of this path there will be fossils or maybe not I don't know <laughs> let's get going so friends I passed that hill over there so now I'm next to this beautiful vineyard and below this highway so i am a bit tired because uh, i've been walking for about one hour and that hill don't have uh, don't have a very uh, regular paths so it's quite difficult to to walk in there so the objective is now i don't know if you can see it uh, in the top of the hill there is a windmill and i know because I saw some Google Earth image that the path that I want to explore is a little bit close of that windmill. So the next objective is to go to that windmill over there. So so the noise that you are hearing is the cars that are passing right next uh, in my my left side in the highway. So. I guess in a couple of minutes you don't hear anything just the birds okay let's get going Whew. so friends I'm halfway so the windmill it's over there Whew. I don't know where they put the elevator on this hill Whew. let's get going so, dear friends, you could say that I'm imagining stuff, uh, seeing ammonites where probably there is nothing, but check out this. Check out this that is in here, in this pile of rocks. If this is not remnants of some sort of a coil of an ammonite, my name is not Sejurasik. <laughs> and it's not. <laughs> But anyways, well, this is just to prove to you guys that there is something over here that is pretty well disguised. And there are a few funny rocks as well. So, these concretions are a little, stra a little strange. So, are round rocks. I don't know what this is. Strange strange stuff it looks like they those uh, round pebbles from the the river mixed with some sort of uh, of limestone rock well so friends oh it's a little bit windy I hope it doesn't affect the quality of the video so another another funny rock this one looks like uh, some sort of a shell but it's just a funny rock nothing to it move along Ooh. this slope is very hard to do one good thing over here is the sightseeing 
which is very cool I don't like the highway though but, but anyways okay friends I made it more or less still a little bit to go so one more workout <laughs> Okay. You don't even imagine how steep this slope is. Uh, the old timers, I don't know how they put the stuff in here in the top of this hill. But it must have been pretty physical demanding but it must have been very physical demanding okay let's go this way because the other way is too too steep so <clears throat> okay here we are we arrive oh are you hearing this guys this sound is made by that pottery stuff that is in the in the ropes of the windmill. I don't know the specific purpose of that. Maybe to warn the 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 person who works in the windmill that there is uh, strong winds. And I don't know if you know, but this these windmills were used to grind uh, grind um, uh, seeds of um, of corn and uh, to make flour and it's a very good way to use the wind in our favor i just uh, uh, saw one thing is how does the people bring all of the seeds of corn up in here because this now it's very steep in those days i, I cannot even imagine so my hat is on these guys who built this and have a lot and a lot of work to build this but i sure uh, wouldn't like to be in one of these when there was a thunderstorm because this is the highest point in in all of this this area around here and if there is a thunderstorm there might be a good chance that this windmill will look like a giant firefly <laughs> Okay, let me situate myself and continue. It's still pretty early, 8 o'clock in the morning. So I have a lot to explore. Maybe I still can find what I am, what I'm, what I want to find. So I saw uh, from the top of the hill that ruins over there. So I'm going to investigate. There's no fossils, I guess, around, but anyways, I think it, it's going to be good to show you to you guys some stuff that are in this beautiful countryside. Oh, I saw, uh, I guess it's over there. I guess it's over there. So I passed the ruins and I'm there. Okay, now I'm more or less in the track. So let's go. Okay, someone was making some feng shui over here with rocks. Not my thing, just fossils. <laughs> I'm speaking a little bit lower because I don't know if there is anybody in here. So, oh, these are very large ruins. Oh, more feng shui or some sort of witchcraft, which is pretty common in here. I shouldn't have said that because now my mind oh this goes over there okay this is very much abandoned okay what this is said uh, what uh, it's uh, what says here in, Eng in the Portuguese is that it's a beautiful place to live, build and preserve and bring a friend also. 
so beautiful message so nothing of that weird crap okay I guess someone here with the metal detector would have a nice day oh the path goes over there okay cool okay now I'm disconnecting this well this is the path that I was talking about I guess I found it but now it only remains to be found it's the bedrock and well this place around here it's called dark valley I don't know why it get its name <laughs> This is pretty dense over here. Well, very, very dense. Where are the bell rocks? Well, there is a few over here, but nothing so far worthy of investigate. Okay. Ah, uh, now I know that I'm in the right path, and this is where I want to reach. You know, this this uh, this uh, creek that is dry now. This is a very excellent spot to find some some rocks and some fossils. Well, sorry guys, I was taking out the spider webs from my nose and from my face. So, let's see if we can find some fossils in here. Now that all of this is dry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm going to stop recording now, or maybe not. I'm going to this side over here. Oh, this is very beautiful. It feels like I am in the Lord of the Rings movie. Okay, but it's all covered with some. Oh. No, it's it's difficult to spot <coughs> whatsoever in the middle of all of this of this gravel. Mm -hmm. I guess I have to wait until spring to see if I can have any luck in here. Well, the ground is becoming more rocky in here, but so far nothing. Uh, my my bet was that it could be ammonites in here, but I guess I'm going home empty-handed. Mm -hmm. That's the first. So lots of good stuff, good landscape, new ways. Uh, new tracks to twike along but nothing just nothing in terms of fossils okay I'm going to disconnect now uh, friends uh, I'm pretty sure that <laughs> I found the fossil okay this for me it's a velomite 
but uh, it's a bit inconclusive. I don't have the other part. Oh my god, these rocks are so heavy. Okay. No, but this is a belamite. That's for sure. Okay. At least I found something. Uh, but I'm not going to carry this home. <sighs> What's this over here as well? Oh, this is just a, a fracture of the rock. This is nothing. Ah, okay, this is... Uh, I don't have words for today. So, uh, I've been walking in this path for about one kilometer and a half, more or less. And there's no signs of fossils. Well, it, it almost it just boulders after boulders, no signs of anything but now I was I sit down to to relax a little bit and I look to this rock and apparently there's nothing to it except that it has this this vein see it almost looks like little growth lines oh let me see if there is any bug in this side. it almost looks like it is growth lines of a, of some sort of a tree see I don't really know for sure what's this, but this place is quite mysterious. Well, one more unusual stuff, not fossil, or I don't know if this could be a fossil or if it is some mineral occurrence. Well, but the other side, it's straight, so I guess it's not, it's nothing, I guess it's just something of mineral origin so let's keep on moving so I sure hope this is what I am thinking maybe could this be oh it is oh my god I left it oh my god this is a giant piece of ammonite that's for sure see this this bits over here so these lines we have in this side as well so this would be pretty massive I don't know where the rest of it is but I guess this was tumbling down in this in this riverbed for a long long time it's pretty eroded because if it was broken uh, recently this will show up but oh my god I was uh, convinced and for very good reason that there was ammonites in here but the curse continues I only found bits I can seem to find only bits of this so a complete one would be amazing but just found a bit for me I'm I'm happy now but let's search a little bit more maybe there's nothing mu much more stuff around 